I wanted to show you how to make your own medallion sheeting. Um, what we have here is some rope or actually packaging material. <laughs> Mr. Stalkup used to get this out of the dumpster at Pier 1 Imports. And you can still find it on people wrapping their packages that come from overseas. And it's just a film that's very, very strong, but it's very, very thin. What I'm here doing right here is unfolding it. I've taken two clipboard, two small clipboards, and glued them together and, and faced them in op opposing directions. Now I'm clamping down one end of it, and I'm going to stretch it and then cut it to length. And I'm going to spread out the, the medallion sheeting, or this sheeting. You can also use, there's a clear film that Hairline makes, and you could also use st Swiss straw. But this stuff is pretty strong. It's uh, hard to, to destroy it. Now I'm stretching it out, and I'm going to clasp it with that other uh, clip. Now it splits. It's got two sheets. And that's actually the secret for this thing. What it does is it, uh, I laminate the uh, color and the glue in between it, and that's what protects it from falling apart and, and also the color. And I just press it down. And now I'm going to apply marker. And what I use is the Copic markers as well as the AD markers. I really like the Copic markers because of the color selection. Also, you can buy refills for the Copic. And so they're actually cheaper in the long run. The AD markers are very inexpensive. I got used to using those in architecture school. All right. So now I take a lay, I'm laying just down a base of olive. Now you can do this any color you want. You can get done, you know, a warm gray number three, and then lay, make wings out of it. This is specifically for, I'm making wing cases out of this. And I like olive brown for my wing cases. So I just dab this stuff all over there. Now, if you can actually add more uh, uh, ink to the marker, and it'll pull up, and it'll even add more distressing to the film. Now, this is a redwood marker, and I'm just adding a little touches of brown. Now, you need to picture this stuff cut down very small. It doesn't look like this when you cut it into strips for uh, for your uh, backs, wing cases. So I just dab it in there and add extra as much color as I possibly can. You can't do this wrong. And you can add as many colors as you want. If I was a little pickier, I'd probably take some black and add it to it also. But I'm just adding distressing in brown, and then also for demonstration purposes. Now, I'm going to shoot it with some spray glue, but you can also use that. Mr. Stalkup used to take a shoe goo and thin it down and spread it over. That was his adhesive, and it was really thinned down. This is, I'm going to use a, a spray glue. And 3M has a product, and this is a, one of those kind of products. And just a quick puff. You do not need much glue. It's just a little bit. That's it. Quick puff. Now you press it down, make sure you uh, get rid of the folds. And what happens is that glue comes out in little dots, little balls. And then when you press it down, it actually spreads out. So that's what makes that, that's what makes that also that glue repositionable. Now, I want to make sure that that stuff is really pressed down, so I've got a burnisher to press it down. But anything like a decal or credit card would work. Now, at this side, basically, you can't see it as well because, because of the light, the reflection. But when you flip it over, which is the side you want to use anyway, you can see that it really, it really is medallion sheeting. Now, if I take a little bit more time, put a little bit more brown, maybe added some black or darker, darker, darker olives, you can see exactly what that would be. And you can also imagine you can do this in different colors. 
and you can do it in different shades of gray for wings. Thank you.